It's worth it. You will never regret the things that you do because they will always lead you like the snowball effect. I cannot explain it anymore. I was a young girl in lockdown and I had this gut feeling that I really need to buy a microphone. And look at me now, my life has changed. And yes, it's taken a few years. And it's 
still getting there, I'm still not. But take a chance. Babe, what? You're scared of what? You're scared of what? Someone's been making fun of you. At least you're trying, at least you're trying to do something with your life. You're trying to make yourself happy. You're trying to build a life for yourself. This is a long life, babe, okay? The retirement age is getting way further beyond that hill. I can't really see it anymore, so you have to do it for you. Do it for the little boy or girl. Or non-binary. We're inclusive here, babe. Do it for them. Ask them if they're okay. It's painful, you might cry. Because I did. <laughs> but I'm a crier. The veil is slowly lifting. The fog is slowly lifting. You wouldn't be here if you didn't know that there was hope. You would not be here if you did not see. ready for you to be authentically you and I love you for that I wish this world had more real people in it I will never mock you I will never ever laugh at you you can ask me a single stupid question because we all learn from somewhere literally so never about me, about how I will react to you, anything, okay? Nothing. I am. I just want to soak you up and just give you a big warm hug and tell you everything will be okay because it will. I really promise. Can I actually do that right now? Thank you. Embrace or kiss for more than for more than six seconds for the endorphins to kick in. Your soul, babe. Your soul has so much to offer, and anxiety is so so hard. <laughs> I laugh because, boy. <laughs> My memory just reels, you know, like a library folder, like <laughs> slotting back the, the memories, but that's why I'm here plucking them away for you, so you don't have to relive your horrible anxiety-inducing moments. <sighs> you are the best thing to have ever You're the main character. You do not want to get to 30, 40, 50, 70, 80, 100 and feel like you have run out of time. There is no such thing. There is no such thing as a timeline, babe. This might sound super hippy dippy of me, but detachment is the way to go, babe. As you would want yourself. Then the world would be a much, much better place. I don't want you to go through years 
and years of suffering because punishing yourself if that's what you're doing, punishing yourself is never the answer you have to meet yourself with love with grace everybody makes mistakes I heard this quote the other day and it literally changed my life and I don't mean that lightly, I think about it every day at work there's these two people and this man moans about the other one so much so much that he does everything, she does nothing and she just turned around and said well it's a good job you're perfect then isn't it? <laughs> because he's not, he makes so many mistakes as well but nobody cares because as long as you're honest, as long as you're upfront, as long as you're committed to the cause you're allowed to make mistakes, it's not embarrassing, it's not ridiculous, it's not silly, you're not less worthy of something because someone has more experience than you I'm gonna say that again you are not less worthy because someone has more experience than you okay now put your ego down and let them teach you but that's a different story <laughs> Just, what's it all for, babe? What's all the suffering for? You tell me. Because my main goal now is to be happy and be free. And I just wish you could come along with me. It's all in the mindset. I am happy to be, aren't I? <laughs> You're just beautiful. I see it. I see the soul that you have and it's... You really need to know. Okay, because I, I'm 26, okay? And I'm so glad that I have started putting in the work so young. Because by the time I'm like 35, 40, ah. Oh, I'm going to be living my best goddamn life, you. And you're going to see. You're going to see. And you're going to do it with me, aren't you? Because that's what besties do. <laughs> why, do why do you deserve it less than me? You're saying good for you, but good for you. It's scary to get out of your comfort zone. But isn't it scarier to stay stuck? make no impact at least for me but hey, everybody's different sorry that got super preachy but I hope I have motivated you in some way, just to reframe your mind a little bit gratitude is the key to get out I promise these gurus speak about it a lot some truth in it <laughs> and I hope you remember how important you are I really hope you remember how important you are yes, you you, you you you're a ray of light you know you are destined for more don't run from it embrace it Embrace the positive changes that are going to come to you. I do see this cloud floating away. I mean, some of it lingers, and some nooks and grannies of that mind of yours, but. such a short amount of time of hopefully permanently over time of course Rome wasn't built in a day a new you a new positive positive outlook on life you so let me just try and hoover up any of this residual tension I can feel it. 
I can feel the negativity be pulled out of you. Those questioning questions, those pesky questions. Are you good enough? Yes. Are you worthy? Yes. Enjoy the journey. That one was a big one. That was hidden. Gross. You deserve so much more. And I really hope you believe it. This is my mission, my job, my aim, my desire to make you feel as good as you deserve. <laughs> That's a lot. It is a lot before you come back at me. You're the best. You got this. I believe in you. And if not, then we can come and do this again with your next round of worries, anxieties and fears. Because they'll come back up. And that's how you know you're growing. Swatting these out of the way. That's not true. That's a lie. I'm going to do better than this. <laughs> Keep batting those lies away. Your brain. Your brain is not factual. Your brain just tries to keep you safe. So whenever your brain tries to diminish you, tries to put you down, it's just trying to keep you safe. And you can just say, thanks, brain. Call it a name. Be like, thanks, Andy. That's really shitty advice. I'm not going to do that, but I appreciate the sentiment of you <laughs> trying to keep me safe. But I think I'm going to have a really nice time anyway. So shut up. <laughs> That's all I do. You got this. I love you. I'm so proud of you. Keep going smashing it and your dreams will come true.